We bought the Tappard Philly out of Tis and She Beautiful and will be trained by Todd Fletcher. Extremely athletic, a lot like him. We're excited to see him on the track. Beautiful filly. Um, she's out of a graded stakes mare that ran early as a two-year-old, so I like that quite a bit out of her. This filly looks like she's gonna be super early and precocious. Very good muscled filly, um, just a lot to like about her. Tapret, standing at Gainesway. Dan Ullman, Mike Beer for Kentucky Derby Prep Recap. Our coverage is presented by Gainesway. We're going to take a look back at the Grade 3 Gotham at Aqueduct, a derby prep going a one-turn mile. Let's break from the gate. Keep an eye on the 9 Morello, the 10 Rockefeller. Tale of two starts, Mike. Yeah, a little bit of a stumble there for, for Rockefeller. Um, he recovered from it very quickly, Dan, and he still has a chance to get forward here. Um, he's just not quite fast enough to get there. Morello, on the other hand, he's just one of those horses. He's got such easy speed. You know, he didn't break flying in here, and the horse, uh, the number five there, uh, Dean's List, is faster early. This horse has no problem keeping up with the pace, though. I really think you described it perfectly. He has he has easy speed, Morello. We've seen that now in all three starts, and he's stretched out incrementally in distance from six furlongs to seven to a mile. He is able to get within range, get very comfortable. And right here, he's just moving sweetly off of Dean's list, who is stepping up in class, but was able to outfoot a couple of pace horses. The pace wasn't blazing. Yeah, the pace wasn't blazing. It's surprising, too, that I mean, I don't think it's surprising at all that Dean's List made the lead. He's a fast horse who was stretching out in here, um, but he makes the front. Morello goes with him. Um, you're going to see everybody start to work a little harder behind now. There is no closing going on in this race whatsoever through this stretch. The horses that are one, two, three now are going to finish that way. Life is great. He's going to try to wind his way into it with a four-wide bid. But just look at Morello and Jose Lascano, really very confident. Dean's List is being hustled along on the lead. Morello is going to collar Dean's List. Lascano is still confident. And the question was, would he be able to finish up as well going a mile as he had in his first two starts? He answered it definitively. Yeah, this is a very impressive final eighth of a mile. It just shook the reins at him a little bit. He powered right past Dean's List to take over. He's just ridden out at the end here, Dan. A really, really impressive win for this horse, who's now three for three in his life. No problem uh, with the race Dean's List ran, Dan. He's a very game horse. He's got some speed. He's just no match. Love the way Steve Asmussen has handled Morello. Again, incrementally stretching him out in distance. Six furlongs, seven furlongs, a mile. Note the buyer progression now. 74, uh, 72 to the 84 he earned in the Jimmy Winkfield, and then the 96 he received in the Gotham. This is a horse, Mike, by Classic Empire. Uh, I assume we're going to see him next in the Wood Memorial, and I'm starting to get a little bit excited to see what we're going to get because this horse has some talent. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm excited to see what he does next, too. Um, he just feels like he keeps getting better. I mean, he has been he was impressive in his first two wins, um, even more impressive here. Um, and as you mentioned, he's got – I think he's got enough pedigree, Dan. I mean, it, there's a lot of milers uh, on the dam side, but, man, there's a lot of class down there. Um, he, he just seems like a really good horse, and his tactical speed could be key. The Gotham, of course, being run at a one-turn mile, it – separates the men from the boys in a way and that if you perform well here you get to stretch out in races like the wood memorial and if not you might end up turning back in distance and being one of the better sprinters of the division and i think todd fletcher has a decision with dean's list i think he ran well enough that you would consider a race like the wood memorial where there's big money on the line personally i think this horse might be a really nice seven eighths to a mile horse down the road I feel the same way about him. I, I I mean, I wouldn't, you know, be surprised if they took one more shot to try to stretch him out and just see what happens. He does have good speed, and I do think he's a pretty good horse, Dan. I'll be a little surprised if he stretches all the way out effectively. It feels like when they get out in those, you know, longer route races, it's, it could really work against this horse. Rockefeller was seven to two. He was a graded stakes winner over course and distance. He had chased uh, a very talented stable, made New Grange in his prior start in Southern California. He still had a lot to prove on paper. The start was not good. He never really got involved. Uh, it looks like he's going to get a break after this race. Yeah, I, I, I suppose he probably will. He just didn't run well in here um, for whatever reason. And maybe that start, you know, was just a little bit worse than it looks, even though he recovered quickly. He did stumble. Um, tried to show speed. He never really got that close to it. Um, he was all done before this race was out of the turn. Did you think Glider have any sort of excuse, Mike, just simply in the fact that the way the race was run, there just wasn't a lot of closing going on. He didn't have the greatest start, but I thought after the break, he ended up in a decent enough position. 
I mean, he just got outrun early in this race. Uh, they were moving a little bit too quick for him um, in, the, in the early stages of this race. Um, he did a lot of chasing. And again, it, it really wasn't a race, Dan, that, um, where the closers really did anything. Um, you know, he was on his wrong lead through the stretch. He never really found that strong of a finish. I just thought it was sort of a mediocre performance, but he, you know, split the field. I guess if you were looking for a horse who just, you know, was stepping up in class and you just wanted to see what he would do, I guess it wasn't terrible, but he was never a factor in here. Bull Journey got bounced around at the start. He has that big pedigree being a uh, sibling to American Revolution, the winner of the Cigar Mile, but he just didn't do any running uh, once uh, the real racing began. He didn't. And, you know, he's a horse who had shown pretty big speed uh, in his first few starts. And this race, as you said, he got sort of bounced around between horses at the start. I think after that, once he wound up towards the back of the field early, you could just sort of see his rider take a hold of him. I think they just wanted to see what would happen at that point. And we'll try to rate him back here and see what happens. Um, he was a little headstrong and then he just really never made any kind of a run at it. Um, pretty disappointing performance overall, but maybe there's enough of an excuse to give him another chance. Did you see anything from Golden Code and Life is Great that makes you want to take them down the road in another Kentucky Derby prep? Or do you think they just were overmatched by Morello, who basically was much the best in this race? Well, I don't know if I necessarily saw anything that would make me you know, want them going forward. Personally, I didn't think Golden Code ran poorly at all in this race. He was a really big price. Um, you know, he got out of the gate fine. They didn't really, you know, try to send him after the lead. Of course, his stablemate was the horse who was cutting the pace. So they weren't going to go after him. Um, they moved him to the outside. He did a lot of chasing in here. He never stopped trying through the stretch. Um, listen, he's a New York bred and, and you know, they have other uh, options with this horse rather than to go on with the Derby trail. But listen, this was actually a pretty nice step in the right direction for that horse. Let's take a look at the horse card for the undefeated Morello. We'll talk a lot more about his pedigree on the DRF breeding report later this week. Perfect three for three. He's earned $264,000 in his career. He has cost $250,000 as a son of classic empire. 96 buyer speed figure for Morello in the Gotham. Now the two turn test is coming up. It's likely going to be in the Wood Memorial. Here are the prices for the Gotham. Uh, Morello was bet like he couldn't lose and he kind of ran like it. He looked like a winner every step of the way. Even money shot wins, pays $4. Dean's List carved out the fractions, held second. Pletcher ran 2-3, Golden Code getting third. Morello onto the Wood Memorial. 